Hey everyone, Gary Simon of CourseCentral.com and today we're going to take a look at Angular 2 services. So what is a service? Does it mean you're going to become an entrepreneur and create a service for people? No, it simply means it's reference to JavaScript functions and their associated methods that you can import into your Angular 2 components to be able to be used. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over real quickly. And this time we're going to use the GitHub Angular Quick Start and we're going to clone it through Git. So I already did a video on how to do this explicitly. So if you need a refresher, just refer back to an earlier video in this series. So I'm gonna copy this line right here. And by the way, just access the URL up here, or just go to Google and type in Angular 2 Quick Start GitHub. And now let's go to our command line here. And I'm in my projects folder. I'm gonna right click and paste. And we're just gonna call this services dash project and hit enter. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and CD into services dash project and then type in NPM install, at which point this is gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna pause and I'll come right back. All right, and it is done. So I'm gonna switch back here. I'm going to type in NPM start. It's gonna create a light server here. And if we go here to our browser, it'll open this up. All right, and it's good to go. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up our code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is a free code editor for Microsoft. And I'm in our project folder. So let's go to app folder and then create a new file called example.service.ts. Okay, so here's how we create a service. First, we're gonna import what's called an injectable. So import injectable from Angular core. Then we add the injectable decorator. That's step two. And we don't end it with a semicolon. And then the step three is to export the class. And we'll call this example service. All right. So that's the three steps. We import the injectable member from the Angular core library. We add the injectable decorator, and then we export the class. Okay, or the service rather. All right, so now inside of here, let's just create a very simple method. And remember, if you know anything about JavaScript, which hopefully you do if you're watching this, a function inside of a class is basically a method. It's just, it's a function essentially though. So what we want to specify is just a really simple one. We're going to make up one, some method, and we'll open this up. We're going to return just a string type. So return, hey, exclamation point. That's it. So if you made it this far, congratulations, you just created your very first service. Very exciting, I know. So let's go ahead and save this. And now let's go ahead and use this inside of our app.component.ts. That's currently our only component. So we need to import that class that we just created. So import, and that's gonna be example service from Angular Core. Or no, I was looking at the top line, sorry, same folder and this is example.service. So we've just imported this class or this service from our file that we just created. Now we have to add it in the provider's property of the component decorator metadata. So it's add a period or a comma there and add providers and then open up an array example service. And that's step two. So step one, import the service. And then step two, add it in the providers here in the component decorator. Step three, we have to now inject it through what's called dependency injection. Now I know, calm down, I know it's very frightening, but don't worry, you'll see how this works. So we inject it through what's called the constructor. Now that is a default method of the class, which is app component that's executed whenever the class is instantiated and basically ensures proper initialization of the fields in the class and its subclasses, okay? If it's still confusing and you're new to this, well, that's because it's going to be. But once we start working with it, you'll understand and you'll internalize it and all will be good. So the way we do this is we specify constructor 
and then we open up here in the arguments, this is where the dependency injection occurs. So we specify a private variable and just a, a good convention for naming convention of private variables is to underscore the name and then camel case, which means the very first letter of the name of the function is not uh, capitalized basically. Example and then service. And then we put a colon, which references now this example service up here. And then we open it up in the curly braces. Now we don't put anything inside of here. What we're gonna do instead is reference this through the ng on init lifecycle hook. Now I haven't yet covered this in the series, so you'll understand what this means a little bit more down the line, but basically ng on init is a lifecycle hook called by Angular 2 that indicates that Angular has been done creating the component. So, you know, if it, in our case, since we only have one component, when the browser loads it up and the app is loaded and the component is done loading, it's going to immediately execute anything that's inside of ng on init. So ng on init, and this is where we put our code. So what are we gonna do with it? Well. Let's say for example, we wanted to use our example service to add in this string right here as a title in our H1 HTML tag. So we'll put over here through interpolation, interpolation, and then specify a variable called title. So let's define title outside of ng on init. And this is through TypeScript, so title and of type string. And then we reference it through this dot title, which is a reference to this variable here, equals, and then this dot example service, which is defined right here in the constructor. And then we access the method, and we can see it shows up right here, some method. That's what we named it. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And let's see what happens. There it goes. Hey. All right, so that's how you create it and use a service. Now let me show you just one more thing. So if we go back here, we can see that we've included our service directly from within this component. But what? let's say for example, you create a service that you want multiple components to be able to access. Well, we can include it instead of adding it in the metadata here of our component in the providers property. Let's go ahead and remove this. Let's save that. And by the way, if we save it, you'll see we'll get uh, an error. If we look at the console, it says no provider for example service. We can go to our app.module.ts and we can add it right here. So example service, we have to import it. Let's go back up here and just copy this real quickly. And now that error goes away. We can save it and now it shows up there. So the difference is now that it's been added in our app.module ng module decorator here we no longer have to include it in the component metadata. However, we do still have to import it as a member up here at the top of the file in whichever component we wanna be able to use it for. All right, so hopefully you learned a lot about services. Obviously it's a very basic example. However, down the road, we're going to get more in depth and more complex when we use services. All right, I'll see you guys later.